My name's Ronnie Graham, I work for ScotRail and I do continuous team development. Well, day to day we look at how the guys do their job, um, try and find out if there's any problem units, if it was a particular type of train or a specific problem. Uh, so we then go back and look through the records, uh, see what's happened, try and trace that back to the teams, uh, see if there's a way we can improve the way they do the job. So it's, it's those kind of things we do. As a 15 year old you know, kid leaving school, I was sort of probably quite shy. I, I don't know, I wasn't just, wasn't as interested in things as I should have been. I was very closed mind. Um, I was quite happy doing what I was doing and nothing else really bothered me or worried me too much. I just didn't push myself, you know. Um, it's easy to think, yeah, yeah, I can do this, I can do that. But if you don't try it, how do you really know? Well, that's uh, my background. I've been doing, I've been in engineering since the age of 15 when I left school. Uh, I worked in heavy industry, went to Ravenscraig, British Steel, worked there from 1985 to 1991 when it closed. So I left there and took a sort of radical jump into the electronics industry at the time. Um, JVC where they made televisions. Uh, was there for a year, they had a few problems, it was a bit of a rough time, so I then left and went even more radical into semiconductors. Uh, so I spent 10 years at uh, NEC, and while I was doing, I was doing the sort of electrical fault finding and um, sort of distribution and things like that. I was getting a bit bored with that, so I thought I would maybe try and jump into law. Right, I started my law degree at roughly 30, 30 years of age. Um, basically to see, I wanted to push myself, it was quite hard work, I have to say. It was a real culture shock the first year and the amount of studying and work I had to put in. So I was just trying to get used to the volume of reading and studying and things I had to do. Being a mature student, it was, it was real, I found it wonderful. Um, opened my eyes to the world round about me. Tried working with law firms for a while, wasn't quite for me. Ended up back in engineering, beside my father at Ethicon in Edinburgh. That closed, um, I drifted into the railway. Said to my father, see he's now in the railway as well. I've actually quite enjoyed coming to the railway, it's been a great career so far, you know, so I'm looking forward to, don't know what the future's going to be, but uh, it's a very interesting and diverse career in the railway. Well, the, the sort of major decision was probably uh, when NEC started to close, uh, it was between jobs, I was trying to sort of move into the, the sort of legal side of things, um, really didn't work out, I ended up with a horrendous job and no real... Um, expertise or no one to really be at my back and to say no you're doing this or you're doing that. Uh, so there really wasn't much support. I found myself very much on my own. Um, and I, I think at that point I thought, it's, uh, I, I suppose I grew up really then, you know, at probably 34, 35 years of age. I'm somewhat of a pessimist as well. I'm quite negative a lot of times. That's still one of the aspects of my character that hold me back. Uh, I can be very reserved. Um, but no, I, th I'm, I am becoming a bit more optimistic. Uh, now I'm at the stage where I want to try different things. I'm not scared to try different things. I'm not scared to speak to people. Um, I'm trying to be more, more positive and, and um, encourage other people to go a step further, um, which for people that had known me 10 years ago would have said, no, this guy can never do that. He's too, too negative, he won't do it. Um, but now I'm actually trying to encourage other people to do a little bit more and look at things a bit differently.